Today we're looking at Homer of Ancient Greece. Hello, welcome to the Daily Bell Ringer World History. Please don't forget to subscribe and take a look at the questions down in the description. Also, don't forget to check out dailybellringer.com where you'll find more resources that go with many of the Bell Ringer videos. Let me not then die ingloriously and without a struggle, but let me first do some great thing that shall be told among men hereafter. The difficulty is not so great to die for a friend as to find a friend worth dying for. These are some of the words of the famous Greek poet Homer, who would be remembered as one of the greatest authors of antiquity. Known primarily for two epic poems, the Iliad and the Odyssey, which set the standard for action-adventure stories of the centuries to come, little is actually known about Homer himself and much of his life still remains a mystery to historians. Homer was born somewhere between 1200 BC and 750 BC. Historians argue as to the exact year because there's no record of his birth and he was born before our modern calendar was developed. Our best guess as to when he was born is based on what he wrote about and when those events occurred. Likewise, the location of where Homer was born is a mystery as well. Historians believe he was born somewhere in Asia Minor, likely along the western coast of what is today Turkey. Today, there are seven cities that claim to be the birthplace of Homer. An additional interesting fact is that many historians speculate that Homer was blind based on characters in his writings. Many busts sculpted of Homer feature sightless eyes. Furthermore, some historians argue that the name Homer itself was actually a common name for blind men who wandered the Greek countryside reciting epic poetry. As mentioned earlier, Homer's famous works are the Iliad and the Odyssey. Both are epic poems, and by an epic poem I'm referring to a lengthy narrative describing heroic events and adventures usually centered around a central character. Homer was known for his epics, so one could argue that Homer was the father of the action-adventure genre, or even the father of superhero comics, or at least one of the greatest ancient influences on the entire style. One epic poem credited to Homer is the Iliad, written somewhere between 850 B.C. to 750 B.C. The Iliad tells the story of the Trojan War in which the Greeks laid siege to the city of Troy and eventually captured the city after using the infamous Trojan horse to get within the city walls. Interestingly, the Trojan War and the city of Troy's existence has been something questioned throughout history, with many believing it was a fictitious war and city. However, archaeologists in the late 1800s unearthed a site in western Turkey that they believed to be the remains of the ancient city. Since then, there have been dozens of fortifications located around the city and evidence that fighting had taken place there. The other epic poem Homer is known for is the Odyssey, which is believed to have been written somewhere between 725 to 675 BC. The Odyssey tells the story of after the fall of Troy. The Odyssey focuses on the hero Odysseus, who the Romans would later call Ulysses, and his journey home after the war in which he and his men encounter mythical creatures and villains. The style of storytelling and major themes in Homer's epics appear in literature throughout history, even to this modern day. But it should come as no surprise that with all the mystery surrounding Homer himself, there is also a mystery as to if Homer in fact wrote both the Iliad and the Odyssey. Many historians believe Homer was one man that wrote these epics. However, some believe it was a group of writers that actually wrote the epic poems. Some of the evidence that suggests the poems were written by different writers is the fact that the Iliad is written in a more formal language, while the Odyssey is written more in a style of language that would have been used day-to-day -day in speech in ancient Greece. Additional evidence suggests that the Iliad and the Odyssey were written as much as 100 years apart, which again points to there being multiple authors. Nonetheless, Homer and his writings had an immense influence on the ancient Greeks and their culture. Much of their mythology and tales center around ideas and stories told by Homer in his epic poems. Even to this day, Homer's writings remain one of very few works from antiquity that are still widely read in the modern era. So with that, hopefully you learned something, and thanks for watching.